So, after months of speculation that Jodie Whittaker would be leaving Doctor Who in series 13, it turns out she isn't. Okay, well, she probably isn't. Let, let me explain what's going on here. Way back at the start of the year, The Mirror, the newspaper The Mirror, reported that Jodie Whittaker would be leaving Doctor Who, and the journalist who wrote this had an extremely scarily good track record, and the article said that Jodie Whittaker told BBC bosses she wanted to leave at the end of the series and regenerate. And that seemed very plausible, we all suspected that maybe Jodie Whittaker would be regenerating, because it's usually standard for the Doctors to get three series and then leave, so it would definitely make sense if this was her last. However, due to the recent Doctor Who annual controversy, The Mirror released another article in which they stated that in fact Jodie Whittaker would not be leaving in series 13, but would instead be staying on until 2022. But 2022 will not be series 14, and will instead be two special episodes acting as Jodie Whittaker's final story, with her regenerating at the end of the second one. Think kind of like how David Tennant had series 2, 3 and 4, and then in 2009 he had the Planet of the Dead, the Wards of Mars, and then the End of Time, as a sort of final wrap-up to his Doctor, not an actual series, just some specials. And I'm just going to go out and say that I think this is a brilliant idea. I don't know how popular this opinion will be, but I just love this idea. There is so much potential for it, and if the BBC actually, you know, decide to market the thing, then it will, could do potentially great stuff for the show going forward. Having just two episodes in 2022 acting as the 13th Doctor's final story, you can make this feel like huge big event television. Whereas with stuff like fairly long series, like Doctor Who, in terms of British TV nowadays, is a particularly long series. Barely anything has 10 episodes. The standard is about 6, maybe 8 if you're lucky, but most things now tend to be even less than that. A lot of things are tending to be like 3, 4 episodes these days. So for like 10 episodes, people's attention spans maybe aren't there. So I think just having two big event episodes is really good, and you could get lots of the general public watching them. If you market it as Jodie Whittaker's final story, her final huge stand, then that's instantly just going to get people watching it because they want, they're want they interested to see how Jodie Whittaker's story ends. It was such big news when she was originally cast as the Doctor that if they do their marketing correctly, then I feel the viewing figures for these final two episodes could be massive because lots of people might want to see how it all ends. I also think it would be a great idea if these two episodes are a two-part, just being one huge, long, big story, the 13th Doctor's final story. I don't want them to be two separate episodes, I just want them to be one massive two-parter. I also think it'd be really interesting is if instead of the first episode airing one week and the second episode airs the next week, it just airs over one weekend, so you have episode one on Saturday and episode two on Sunday. That way, I don't know why I want that, but it just feels right for the 13th Doctor's final big story. If they really want this to be a big event television piece, then just having it day after the other makes sense. It's just the one big Doctor Who weekend to finish the 13th Doctor. That just seems like something audiences would really want to go to. It also means that there won't be as much of a drop-off for the second part, because as, as opposed to keeping the hype going all week, you just have to keep it going over the weekend. And think of the anticipation building up to it as the big, massive Doctor Who weekend. I think that's a really good idea. I've seen some people on the internet suggesting this could potentially be like an Easter special or a Halloween special, but I think maybe just having it over one weekend in the middle of the year would just be a lot better and just seem more like a big piece of event television. I think that's the one phrase I keep coming back to, is I think this should feel like a massive big television event, and they should really market it to be like that. Something else I think would be really cool is if the first part's on like Christmas Day and the second part on Boxing Day. I know that seems a bit odd and depending on when series 13 finishes we might have to wait a very long time for these specials, but that again would also be really cool. Something else to consider is that if this is, is Jodie Whittaker's final story, then I'm now starting to think that maybe Sasha Dewan's master won't be in series 13. I initially assumed that because, you know, 13th Doctor's final series, of course the master's going to show up. But now hearing this news, I'm thinking maybe he won't show up in series 13, but will instead show up in this, similar to how the master showed up in the end of time. And I think potentially that would also be a really good move. And like I said, I think this is a really good idea. And I think this could potentially be really beneficial for the show going forward. But I want to hear what you think. Do you think this is a good idea? 
Do you think this should be just the one big Doctor Who event weekend, or do you think this should be something else entirely? Whatever you think, leave it down in the comment section below, and I've been Cyberman Alf, and from me for now, it's goodbye.